We are here with Paul and Michelle over here who will join us shortly with Fab Rats. We're gonna do our notorious interview and get to know them a little bit today. Thanks, Paul, for taking the time. No problem. First of all, Paul, we wanna know how did this come about from growing up in a small town in Utah to now having a very successful YouTube channel and working on all these projects? Walk us through how that happened. Dumb luck, mostly. Really, I mean, this is the stuff I've done my whole life. Just uh -huh. building stuff. I'm too cheap to pay somebody to do it, so you figure out how to do it yourself. I never went to school for any of this stuff. Self-taught, self-trained, so. How we got into the YouTube side of a demolition derby. We were crashing cars and not all of my family could make it, so we'd video it. Uh -huh. Michelle would put it on YouTube so they could watch it. Then Matt got involved and he started doing his YouTube and he got Michelle to edit videos for him. So Matt's first 15 or so, is that what it is? 10-ish. Okay, she edited it for him because she knew how, because she was doing the our, our stuff. And he started having success doing it and he's like, man, you need to you need to do your shop stuff and film it. And we hum hoed around for a year and then decided to go for it, so. So before the YouTube stuff, what was your day job? I was a construction worker. I was gone four to five days a week. So I was a big driver trying to find something that would keep me right. home to see my kids grow up and, and this worked out. Yep. So with that, what was the transition like going from a yeah. secure job to transitioning to YouTube and is that a volatile type thing or what's the security in that? Was that a hard decision? For me, it wasn't a hard decision. So I'd done that other job for 20 years. I was done with it. The challenge was gone. Right. You would kind of so, hit the ceiling. Yeah, there? I was. I knew what I was going to make until the day I retired. So I was ready to be done when I first started this. And Michelle was like, no, you just pull back on the reins and right. hold up a little bit. Let's see how oh, it yeah. goes first. Yeah. I wasn't too nervous. Michelle, on the other hand, a little nervous. But you're glad you made the decision. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't do it any other way. Now, my brother's working with me. Right. I mean, this week I had both my brothers working with me shop so your brothers your kids are always yeah. in and out of the shop yep. Michelle's no. just yeah your mom yeah. yeah no it's it's made some pretty cool things happen in my life so. so everyone knows you and Matt from Matt's off-road recovery have a connection can you tell us where that started a little brief history there oh yeah yeah that this is a this is a good story <laughs> so demolition derbies where it started Washington, Washington County. County Fair okay somewhere around 2012 13 we're at the Washington County Fair I'm derbying a truck Matt is in charge of that fair. He's running the derby. So it comes down to me and one of my other friends and we hit head on, get stuck together. He gives him first place, me second place. <laughs> and you're pissed? No, oh, she's okay. pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle fruits out. She was yelling at Matt. No, I wasn't. Michelle is upset that they didn't just take the pot and split it between two of us. Like, like first yeah, and second yeah. together and split it. Right. They give him first, me second. She's mad, she's yelling at Matt. I wasn't yelling at Matt. That was super scary. Like that was one of the scariest things that ever happened to me. Like she comes out of the crowd, don't know who she is, don't know what she's mad about, don't know who she's fighting for, but I know she's coming after me. She yelled at him. I but, was yelling. So was the very next, loudly. that's when we met Matt the first time. We didn't really become friends or anything. I was just like, whatever. And I took my second place trophy and left. The next weekend is Peril, okay. and he's got a truck that he's running. So it comes down <laughs> to me and Matt first and second, and I catch him right behind the C pillar on the back of his truck and hit him. He hits his head, knocks him out. So we, I end up driver's door to driver's door with him, and I think I killed him. So I climb out of my truck into his truck. <laughs> and he's just happily laying in there. He's conscious when I get in oh, there, okay. but he's like not there, uh -huh. like just caught. Little days. Yeah, and I'm, his truck's running. I'm like, Matt, how do we shut your truck off? And he's like, I'm laying on him. <laughs> can you move so I can shut it off? <laughs> Cause it's just spinning the rear tires. <laughs> and then he comes back too and that, we basically were friends after that. But it all worked out. Now his kids stay at my house, my kids stay at his house. That is so yeah. cool. Yep. So, so cool. 
So the Derby is what got you connected with Matt. Let's talk about the Derby a little bit. Hypothetically, if we had an arena with you, Robbie, Matt, and Rudy all out there to Derby, who's going to win? Ooh, that's going to be tough because you put Matt and Rudy in there. That's a teammate. So they're ganging up on you instantly. Robbie, you can just get Robbie mad. Like, <laughs> you hit him in the first 30 seconds pretty hard, and he's going to try to hunt you down the whole night. Yeah, he's not wrong. I know the point of a derby is to hit each other, but if you hit me, I will kill you. So if you can get him to ruin his own car, you don't even have to hit right. him. Matt and Rudy together are a hard team to beat. So you've got to take Rudy out quick. Okay. And then I can beat Matt. I've done that lots. So who said that? Paul Cox? Never heard of her. What's one simple tool that you have that you use all the time? It's kind of your lifesaver in the shop. Plasma cutter. But I use a plasma cutter every day for everything. Broken bolts, anything. It's my go-to. It's your go-to. I think you were going to say that. What were you thinking? What did you hammer? think? That hammer. Hammer. I got it. My favorite tool in the whole shop. I see that. Well, that comes in after the plastic. I think cover. Matt is going to answer with the hammer. Probably. Like you use that hammer more than anyone. I, more than any other thing in here, it seems uh, like. A plasma cutter is a game changer. And it just saves so much time, yeah. too. Yep. All right, Ben, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What did you do before joining FabRats and what led you to make the transition to joining FabRats and doing the whole YouTube thing? I worked in the automotive industry for 30 years. Oh, wow. So he's like, hey, this thing's going good, doing YouTube. And I'm like, YouTube, what's that? <laughs> Right, everybody knows YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was good. Having the unique experience of uh, growing up with Paul, can you share maybe an inside story that you know of that may turn Paul's face red that maybe the Fabrats channel doesn't even know about? Well, he's our younger brother lab rat. If we didn't want to try anything, we made him do it. <laughs> and it didn't have to be a specific thing, it was anything. Did that ever end poorly? <laughs> Yeah, I think we broke his arm once, maybe. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds we, like we a story for... We've stitches and, you know. Oh yeah, my god. I'm not gonna indulge too much to get me in trouble, because then he might remember it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite aspect of working with Fabrats now, and why is it pulling all the dead mice out of all of Paul's projects? <laughs> we found the nest. They had a warm home. Yeah, um, maybe it's just uh, payback he's getting me for all those years. I think of all the stuff we did to him. He so. does remember all those last situations. He does. Situations. Oh, that's not good. It's a good environment to be in, you know? Yeah. Having, having the family around and doing, doing what we love, what we've always done. Right. And just work on whatever we want and have fun with it. Getting paid to have fun on your own stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you beat it? You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't beat it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ben, we've asked everyone this so far on the channel. What is your dream build? Dream build. I want a four-wheel drive 66 Chevy. Short bed, not good looking or anything. It's gonna be a monster. And what what's powering it? LS or? Oh yeah. LS, maybe a turbo. Okay, sweet. Just something, when it breaks, it breaks good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Ben, thank you so much for taking the time. We enjoy yeah. watching you. We're super glad you joined Fab Rats. You fit in perfectly. So thanks so much. This is good. I know I've seen in a few videos, you've got a white 96 or 97 12 valve extended cab sitting out in the junkyard. It, just calling my name, honestly. <laughs> but what's the plans for that? Um, that is a donor motor. Okay, for? For a rollback. So this project behind me needs to be done and out of here, and then it's coming in. We'll have the Jeepster in one bay, the rollback roll in the back other bay. Anywhere. That's the winter project, so. Okay. 12 valve, six speed, setting on a 03, third gen chassis, four wheel drive, okay. and then a 49 Chevy cab. Okay. So. What, what's the setup lift-wise, tire size? Uh, probably 35s or 7s, depending on so what. So not a huge crazy thing. No, okay. no, we want it. Totally streetable, but off-road capable. Okay. So Sweet, that's gonna be awesome. So if I break this, I can go get it, hopefully. Right. Okay, cool. So that's the plan.
So we've got Michelle with us now, and, and the question that we want to ask Michelle, every YouTube channel has their certain characters here and there. Fabrats has a lot of characters, and to some degree they seem to be related, I think we could say. Can you kind of help us see how everyone's related, who's who, and where they fit? Okay, so we got me and Paul. Okay. We're married. Paul's brother, Ben, started working for us a few months ago. And then his mother works in the Rat Shack. That's Grandma Lolly. So then we got Hunter, who's the camera guy, who actually has the same last name as us, but is not related. Let's not confuse the folks. <laughs> and then we've got Landon Jace, Gracie Graydon, all our kids. Dar. Oh, Dar. yes. Dar so, throws a kink into everything. Yeah. Okay. Papa Dar is a family friend. He's our neighbor. He lives across the street from us. Not related in any <sighs> way, but we love him. He's awesome. Yep. So okay. then Grammy is my mom. Not to be confused with Grandma. Not to be confused with Grandma Lolly. Okay. So Grammy, Grammy's Grandma. Mom. Grammy's my mom. Grandma Lolly is Paul's mom. Oh, my brother James. I You'll mean, see him yeah. on some episodes. Yeah, he's, he's my oldest brother. He helped with the golden nugget. His brother James. You see why we're all confused? Oh yeah. I, so it's honestly mainly Paul's family tree that we're talking about. No, your brother comes in. That's true. The Mountain Dew thief. I'm just trying to figure out how you stealing drinks helps me out. I don't, I don't get it. It will definitely help you out. out the Mountain Dew thief is my brother, Ben. We gotta talk about Randall. Randall is Paul's first cousin. So we're talking about Randall, how's Randall doing? He's doing good. He's making money, doing the his dream job. We all want to know what's his dream job what's he doing so he is a taxidermist so hunters bring in their animals and him and my brother-in-law mount them up so people can put them in their cabins and stuff So we know Paul is an amazing mechanic fabricator just does some awesome work in here but behind the scenes, Michelle is editing all the content and you're putting out three videos a week. Can you tell us about that? How did you learn to edit? How much time are you spending editing? And tell us something you've learned maybe doing that. Okay. It's funny how like everything like comes in kind of like full circle. So I had this cousin that um, when Paul was doing his demolition derbies, I wanted to give him a birthday present of some highlights of the year of him, you know, demolition derby and stuff. And I didn't know how to edit, my cousin did. And so I'm like, hey, can you make this video for him? I'll pay you and all this stuff. And so she did it. And then the next year comes around and I'm like, Psh, I'm gonna try I this, I can do this. So I just sat down and like tried to figure it out. And you know, you can definitely tell the first one I did to now, right. but um, yeah, I just ta taught myself right. how to do it. And then YouTube, YouTube and University mm -hmm. helped me with that and stuff. And then the reason why I say full circle is because now I'm actually not the only editor of oh, Fab Rats. Okay. My cousin that helped me with Paul's video back in the day is, that it is my you? other editor. Cool. Yeah, so she helps so much. I would not be able to do three videos a week. You guys get a lot of gifts and a lot of things from uh, many of your subscribers and fans that just truly love you guys. What is your favorite thing that you've received so far? So that's kind of a good question because not even about what they send us, but the fact that they send it to us. Mm -hmm. The fact that they take time and money out of their own life to buy that thing or make that thing and package it up and send it to us is like unbelievable to us. Yeah. It's like from like candy to like homemade stuff. I honestly, I don't have a favorite thing that somebody's. People have sent some pretty cool tools. I've got a ton of like tools from my lathe, from uh -huh. old machinists that retired and they don't do it anymore, but they still have their tooling and their mics and that kind of stuff and send it to me. And, and it's being put yeah. to work. We're putting it back to yeah. work. It's. It's pretty cool. It's thousands of dollars worth of stuff if you had to go buy it, but they had it from when they were machining and... And just to see it being used is yeah. enough gratification. It's awesome. Right. Yep. No, it's, it's like Michelle said, it's humbling that someone would trust me enough with something that made their career, made their living. Yeah. They send it to us and let us use it. Yeah. So life gets pretty depressing. Right. But then you see all these good people that stop by here and tell us 
that they love what we're doing and they like the family aspect and it gives you hope that there's people just like us all over the place doing the same cool things in their garages and that's the fun part about it really yeah and this shirt is actually from a fan i wouldn't normally wear a shirt like this <laughs> but i did today because i just they just sent it and i'm like oh that's funny <laughs> <laughs> so before we end this video michelle a big part of your videos that you come into a couple times here and there is the name that part by michelle <laughs> I want to do a little twist on that. We're going to go do a Name That Part Decent Garage Edition on my first gen Cummins. Great! How are you with diesels? How am I with anything? <laughs> I mean... Uh, first item, what is this silver thing Why right do you have to go straight to that thing? Because it's bright and shiny. That's the most recognizable thing oh on this gosh, truck. gosh, that is... There's no lettering. No words. Um, that's the, uh, it looks like the tuba of <laughs> the diesel engine bay. What? The tuba Look at it. Of the it's diesel. like a tuba. It's like. It really is. <laughs> Am I close? No. It doesn't make <laughs> music. She well, is close. Kind of tuba music. starts with T-U yeah. and it is the turbo. Turbo. C? Very close. Thank actually. you. What about, what's this right here? Well, that connects to the turbo. And it's the filter of some sort. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It's this, a filter and that's all the, that matters. This is the air filter. The air filter. Oh, you should do something with fuel. Go to Why? that side. Do you have to, like, he's like, oh, she doesn't know anything about fuel. Let's start easy. You don't want to do an easy one for her? Yeah, you do want to. This one's wanna. pretty easy. All right, Paul's, okay, I'll Paul's do one. Here you go. What is this right here? Oh my all gosh. three of these are the same. Look where they go. They connect to the engine. They do. And apparently they're... They, they come from this thing and they go wrap around and all end up in little holes over there. They're fuel valves. They're so close. Very close. Fuel. But Give me the first letter. Well, just look at what they are. Well, they're metal. Yep. They're metal too, things. You are, right. And do they have oils and stuff that go in them? Fuel. fuel. Oh, that is fuel. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're like little fuel straws. Lines. Could that be a line? A line. Okay, fuel lines. <laughs> fuel, fuel straws. Fuel straws. The that's, same thing. That's pretty close to the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that takes the fuel from here over to Okay, we got to do one I know. So I don't. One. All right, I'm last like one. Around, like, let's not do engine bay stuff. Mm. Let's do something down on the tires or something. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Okay, last one, right here. What is this thing? That is the hub. The hub. Can you tell us more? So you have to turn in the hubs to put it in four wheel drive. So you turn them in. Thank you. you let's end that. on that note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, Paul, Michelle. I can't thank you guys enough. The people watching this video can't thank you enough. We really appreciate you taking your time and we appreciate you sharing your experiences with us. It truly is something we all enjoy watching. Well, thank you for coming. Yep, thank you. You, you guys like went all over Utah today to come This here, is our so. second Utah road trip. So, nice. Yeah. Yep. Pretty dang good. Trying to hit everyone and let everyone actually get behind the scenes and meet these people which i think people appreciate so that's cool it really is it really is because we're just normal people just right. like everybody else yeah so well thank you very much thank you thank you was this the one where you knocked him out nope that was okay. the next weekend <laughs> <laughs> what awesome. do you think the spark plugs are in this one Shelley? oh let's see you find those Probably because this doesn't have spark plugs. You got it. There you go. You got it. <laughs> I tell Paul all the time, I'm like, I make you look so good. <laughs> so he was trying good. to trick me <laughs> and it didn't work. Kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. By the way, welcome to Fab Rats. And I enjoy your channel. Thank you. Thank yeah, you I've been much. watching it. And <laughs> you do some good builds. I like it.